problem. The final problem in the k reemerge pattern. And it's to find the kth smallest element in a sorted matrix. The kth smallest element in a sorted matrix. And you will find what companies have asked this question the last six months in the description, as well as a link to the solution in TypeScript in the solution, in the description. Uh-huh. So day, I believe, what is today? Day 37 of this series. And this is a problem statement in words. The kth smallest element, so the kth smallest element in an n by n, so a square matrix, where each row and column of the matrix is sorted in ascending order. So in this picture, you can see what you're talking about. It's sorted this way and it's sorted this way as well. So I, we're asked to find k, k where k where it's equal to five, and we have it as six because when you lay this out in order, while maintaining the order, you find the fifth element is six. Here, three, you find the third smallest element is four, and so on. For big ones, you can see why you would need a software solution to this where the gate element was the last element, and so on. Without much further ado, we will look at the solution, which is pretty straightforward. Again, this is a lead code medium, so not as hard as the last problem, which was a hard, for good reason. Uh, but you'll see that this is, based on the pattern that we've covered, it's not too bad at all. It's actually pretty good. So we have this matrix, Okay, smallest matrix. What we're going to do is add the very first element of each row to a minimum heap. And we're doing that uh, because everything is sorted. So the smallest element in each row is going to be the first element. So we're going to do that to start. Add 2, 5, and 6 to a minimum heap. Now, we know these are the three 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 smallest elements in the in the whole array in the whole matrix sorry it's a sorted matrix and we won't have we have a k of what do we have a k of right now in this example k of four k is four so we want the fourth smallest element um, so we have added it and what we're gonna do is pop the top of the heap and increment what we've popped, the number of things we've seen so far. So we've seen one, so we set, set we keep track that we've seen one, we've seen two, we've seen three, and pay attention to what happens when we pop, because we keep not just the elements in the heap, but we keep note of what index it, it's at and what row it belongs to. So that when we pop from two, we add four, the thing following it in the row, to the heap. So for it, went on the heap in the process and we also keep track of the number of things we've seen so when we pop because four is next we we note that it came from this row again so eight right four was four was the smallest thing when we popped it eight had to go on the heap eight had to go in there and and so on I just noticed an error with their diagram. So they popped four, they were supposed to add eight, but it didn't in the diagram. Instead, they went straight to six here, but they should have added eight to the heap. Our code is slightly different. Um, then six gets popped. Uh, and it's our fourth element, our fourth largest element. Because even when you add eight, right six is still going to go on top anyway uh so but you pop five and then you see that uh six is number four it's worth looking at the code in, in this case the code might even be clearer than the code might be clearer than the diagram because the diagram has one error in it but this is our function the case smallest number we take a matrix sorted matrix that the rows and the columns are sorted uh, just like this right and the k what what number the small k the smallest number we're looking for we initialize some variables the row count 
Uh, so in this case, the row count is going to be three because we have one, two, three rows. And our minimum heap that does the heavy lifting. And then over here, we put the first element of each row. So matrix at each row because we're looping through each row. Taking the first element, uh, what row it belongs to. And the column index because the first element is zero. So uh, we put zero in there. Um, and then we have this basically in this state so far. First one element of each row in the heap. Next, we want to do some things, and this isn't, isn't useful, so I'm going to hide this, hide that. We want to use, keep these variables, numbers of che checked. So when numbers check equals k, we return the smallest element. Smallest element starts off as zero. We're just initializing these variables. We keep track of the row index, current row index, the current column index, and the meat of the function. While there's still something in the heap, get the smallest number from the top of the heap. So pop, take what's on top of the heap. And again, we kept track of its value, its row, and its index. So we, can, we know that two belongs to row zero, column zero. So that's what these would, these would populate as, and smallest element would be two. We increment the number of things we've seen. So it becomes, it becomes one, it moves from zero, number check moves from zero to one. Now, if it's equal to K, if we've seen K elements, we've seen four things, in this case, K is four, right? Because we're looking for where K is four. If we've seen four things, break out of this while loop right here, and just return what we have as smallest element so far. Right, because we've seen enough. Otherwise, if it has a next element in its row, add the next element of that row to the main heap. So when we took two out, we check that, oh, this column index of zero in our case, plus one, is still less than the length of the row, which is three. So we simply, simply add four to the heap. And because to maintain the heap property, it just goes right up, stays right at the top and so on so when we pop four because it's the smallest thing and then we loop again essentially um we loop again so this is how four got on the heap and then when we go again we take four out almost immediately four would be here the row index would be zero again the column index would be in this case one and we say oh we've seen two things right because we increment numbers checked and so on the cycle goes again. And because we took it from the same row, we increment the column index from one to two, which is still less than three, so it's good. So we're able to add eight to the heap and six to maintain the heap property. It doesn't stay on the root, it goes down and then six is percolated up. If, if, and you will see logic for how heaps work in the GitHub link as well. And that's all there is to this problem. When we're done, with all of this, either it breaks or we run through the entire minimum heap, which is a worst case scenario. We just return the smallest number and we're done. Not too bad, not too shabby. Time complexity, the same, similar, because we we keep inserting into a heap, popping from a heap. So log of O of log of n factorial, which evaluates to n log n. And the first loop, we do n log n where we uh, seed the heap. And the while loop has this k log of n. So we have this evaluation here, which comes down to this, which in reality, in the worst case, if you end up loop, mo looping through the whole heap, k is equal to n. So it's like 2n log n, which is n log n, essentially. And the space complexity is o of n, because we're duplicate storing uh, in the worst case, everything in the in the matrix in the heap. So there's that. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, where we will be introducing a new pattern. Stay tuned.